and uh, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to one more video on plant pathology and in this video let us focus on one more plant disease called citrus canker citrus canker is a disease affecting uh, many members of the group called citrus and uh, the pathogen here is a bacterium which is uh, xanthomonas oxonopodis and the citrus canker infection uh, is actually seen on leaves, stems, fruits and uh, different parts of the citrus trees and uh, the uh, plants that are usually affected are lime that is lemon, oranges and also it affects uh, grapefruits. This is the host plant, the citrus plant, this is the orange plant, another host and this is the uh, pie chart where you can see the different nations which uh, have uh, citrus cultivation. Brazil is the country which grows highest uh, amount of citrus plants and uh, India also accounts for about 6% of uh, global citrus cultivation and India you are seeing the map of India here different states which are growing uh, uh, citrus plant and, uh, citrus cultivation is seen in almost all uh, uh, states of India so citrus is a very important uh, commercial crop the infected fruits are not harmful, harmful to humans uh, canker actually uh, affects the vitality of the citrus trees causing leaves and fruits to drop prematurely. Uh, fruit infected with canker is safe to eat but uh, it is very difficult to sell it because it will develop some corky uh, patches on the surface of the fruit so that is why it looks very awkward and uh, it is very difficult to sell the fruit otherwise it is not, uh, uh, not very dangerous for humans to consume the fruit that are affected by citrus canker disease. Citrus crews have been destroyed by this disease especially in uh, Brazil and United States of America and as I mentioned the pathogen is a bacterium called Xanthomonas oxonopodis which is a rod shaped gram negative bacterium with uh, polar flagella. There are a number of uh, pathovers that is variants of this bacterium which cause a number of uh, variants of the same disease. And here you can see the uh, pathogen that is Xanthomonas oxonopodus. It is uh, uh, entering the uh, citrus plant through the stomata. This is the uh, scanning electron micros micrograph uh, uh, where you can see the bacteria which are entering into the uh, host plant through the stomata. So this is the picture of the uh, bacterium Xanthomonas uh, where you can see the gram negative bacteria where you can see the rod shaped structures of the uh, pathogen. One more picture of uh, Xanthomonas oxonopodis. The plants affected with citrus canker have uh, characteristic lesions, that is the wounds on leaves, stems and also on fruits which are slightly raised uh, above the normal level and which are brown in color, which are water soaked, uh, uh, margins are water soaked usually with uh, yellow margin which is a yellow halo and older lesions when the uh, lesions become older they become khaki which they become hard and uh, still you can see the halo effect around that and the bacterium propagates in lesions of uh, the uh, leaves stems and also fruits you are seeing here the uh, infection on a leaf where you can see the water soaked ring around the uh, infected region you can see the leaf as well as the fruit showing corky appearance. These are the old lesions which are slightly corky, which are uh, which are a little rough. You must have seen whenever you purchase the lemon which is infected with citrus canker will have some corky appearance on that and that is nothing but citrus canker. So the lesions use uh, bacterial cells that when they uh, are dispersed by wind, dispersed by rain and they are also spread by human even the equipment which are used uh, in the cultivation of citrus uh, uh, plants they are also responsible for uh, uh, transferring this uh, bacterium from uh, infected plant to the uninfected or healthy plants. Uh, citrus canker can enter, the bacterium can enter through stomata, through the wounds of the leaves and the other parts of the plant and uh, the uh, one important uh, uh, carrier of this uh, bacterium is called leaf minor larvae, Phylloxnistis citella. This is the uh, larvae, larvae of this uh, uh, insect 
will actually carry the uh, bacteria from uh, infected plants to the uninfected or healthy plants. This is the uh, citrus leaf minor uh, insect here and its larva. This larva actually carries the bacterium from uh, infected plants to the uninfected plants or healthy plants. The pathogen survives in the infected areas which is uh, canker lesions. The bacteria actually ooze in the form of a liquid uh, from the infected plant and this is carried to uh, the healthy plant. The bacterium actually infects new plants through stomata and wounds of the healthy plants. Uh, coming to the control measures, uh, as usual we have sanitation is the best method, crop rotation, soil treatment, soil drainage and uh, use of disease resistant varieties. Nowadays we have these um, citrus plants which are resistant against this disease which can be used and the best method is the contaminated equipment and machines uh, can be disinfected by spraying the antibacterial compound uh, because that is the main method by which the bacteria is. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.